On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with it. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Still shedding tackles. Touchdown. A great effort there. 65 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was... York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. But well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. And he'll get it up near the 34, right at the 34 here. Well, this offense really looking polished these first couple. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. And quickly, they get to the line. Looking to throw. Looking for White on the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 35. And they rattle up the big one. 41 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Pushes past him, pushing his way through. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They go play action here on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. And 11 yards. Here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Breaks a tackle. Now an alley. Oh, <laughs> going. And up to the 45 before they're able to knock him down. 87 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now this one complete on the slant route. He's got room to roam. Touchdown! A great play there. 39 yards. And the orbits start to open. Takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continue to pull it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, their partner, because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come off of this one. But the way that this game is going, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Here's second and eight. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Able to find the open. 
open man. That's complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Still fighting for more. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. But Charles The Browns send out their punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. All oh, the pressure comes, and it's blocked. And they're going to be set up in a good spot, first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Special teams putting a mark on this game early. Opening drive, block punt. And for one team, it's a good mark. And for the other, go, not now. so good. And this is why special teams coaches are like designated hitters to me. They don't get very many opportunities. They need to maximize when it comes their way. And as we just said, one of them did. Second and 10. They're going to look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown! A great effort at that time. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Shins off the tackle, and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Now they'll run it on the toss. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That second down. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Anchorage offense back out now. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, every team that we ever talk to says it's that same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to pump then, you change the field position. You throw the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they're not them together. Nice job. They helped themselves out. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Saved back at the 31. On second down, they'll run it here. And room there to work it inside the 25. The offense on third down tonight. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. And he's got his man on the out route. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now a toss here, short side. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there. The Browns send out their punter now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. Now this is fielded in the end zone. And he'll only get this back to the 15-yard line. So that decision's going to cost him five yards. The danger of a punt that good? A 16-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's right. He's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That's a good way to start the 
drive, 17 yards and a first down. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. There he goes, right side. He may go. And touchdown. A big play there. He'll look to throw. Into space at the 45. And finally brought down at the 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and 10. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. It leads to fourth. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 20. As an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no. And now off to the races, down the right side. He's to the 10, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with his third touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Orbits are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Right now, they want to stay that way. Not in any rush offensively. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 30 before being taken down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Second and nine now. Fires quickly to right. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. There's a nice move. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Orbits are closing in on a third strike. The Browns send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 30. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Team backs him up five, first and 15. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Second and three. It's caught. This is right. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and three. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. 
Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. He'll drop to throw. Shakes off the sack. Steps away to his left. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. is 0-3. Will current form hold? We'll find out as we're off in week four. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And it's funny how we always talk about how analytics are starting to creep into the game. What analytic that's been there for a long time. Teams that start 0-3 usually don't make the playoffs. So even though one quarterback today that's determined to end that slide right now, it's not impossible, but this is a must win for him and his team. They're going to be stopped up on this first down run. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. I mean, look at this defense. They were very strong last week in that win over Cleveland. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, the head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. Pressure coming, and this is a booming kick. Now this is fielded in the end zone. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. And a glance here at the southpaw, who will be calling the plays under center. And he's playing at a very high level here in this early part of the season. In fact, he leads the NFL in passing yards. Neighbors against this secondary, that one wasn't successful. But don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Big conversion. They were backed up deep to start the drive, able to pick up the first. So the goal is at least a first down here, right? Pick up a first down, give yourself some breathing room, and if you have to punt after that, maybe you've helped with field position and you've helped out your defense. And avoided a three and out on their opening drive. There he goes, left side. He's on his way. And all the way in for a touchdown. A big play there. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Orbits are on the board first here this afternoon. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in score. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from all angles, created a lot of illusions, and especially just beat them man for man. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. They'll run on first down. Beatty, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I mean, look at this defense. 
they've been pretty much a mess against the pass, number 31 in the league. And when you're getting ready to face the number one overall offense in the NFL, it does not matter where you rank defensively because you got your hands full. You don't know what you're going to face, but you know that that's a strong unit that you're getting ready for. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Fields. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. A good return there, 17 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. Despite some tough running, he's still wrangled down shy of the 15. It's David Ajabo there for the tackle. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. It's caught. This is White. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards there on the catch and run. First down, Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. Ready. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He's fresh off that three-touchdown performance last week that got him AFC Offensive Player of the Week, so you know that he was already on their radar. Now he's maybe even a bigger plane on their radar. <laughs> bigger plane? I mean, he is the big dot on that screen that they're looking at and saying, how in the heck do we stop him? They're going to try a bunch of different things, different people covering him, but right now he's locked in and is in sync with his quarterback. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Steps away to his left. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 23 yards on the top. And now the red flag out on the field. We'll have a challenge forthcoming. Is this a touchdown? That's the question, CD. What are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So not successful there on the challenge. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the orbits go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. On second down, Beatty. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. As they've got it as we resume action. One play action, Fields. He's going to wind up and air it out. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Partner, I think this will want to arrive very simply because he overestimated his arm strength. 
and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Being chased out left. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now a second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. That's out to the left, flat and complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but you've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Go, Reed, go. Ready, ready. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the twelve. Be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. First down, Beatty. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. And that last throw, CD, going to move him even further up that all-time passing leaderboard as he just moved beyond Broadway Joe, Joe Namath, at 27,663 yards. And that's impressive because Joe Namath, my goodness, he could throw a football. I mean, it was just gorgeous the way he threw it. Rallying his Jets to a Super Bowl win, one of the greatest upsets in NFL history. Broadway Joe, the man. They'll run on first down. Beatty. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. A game there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Here's Fields. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll bring up second down. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Field's going to toss this quickly out wide, complete. It'll be a gain of five, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bears are able to cut into that deficit. And now it's blocked. This is going the other way. There he goes, left side. And he takes it the distance across the goal line for two points. Well, you figure with a veteran kicker out there, these extra points almost automatic, but this one turns into two points the other way. And we both know it's hard to put it on him. I think there was a breakdown in the protection, but guess what? It does go against his record. Daniel Following the botch PAT, they're set to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Pushing his way through. Still fighting for more. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. Here's the Anchorage offense back out now. 
Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their Check first man. three possessions. Check I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. He juked him, and down inside the 15 he goes. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play. It'll be second and ten. Back to throw here. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A 13 yard. Now a first down throw, Fields. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Here now, second and four. Six yard pickup brings up second and four. To throw his fields. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and seven. To the air again, Fields. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Over the middle, it's complete. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Fields now to throw. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. A great throw. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided. It's Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Fielded just outside the goal line. He's still barreling through. <laughs> and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Well, this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, is look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown! A big play there. 72 yards. And the orbits come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. 
Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know. On first down, it's Fields. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Bears. A great effort there. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Back to throw now on first down. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They look to throw now on first down. Looking for White on the deep ball. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. A great play there. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. As he's on here to punt it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And we'll see what he can do on the return. He will return this from deep in the end zone. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated. There he goes right side. Now look out to the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. On first down. Beatty, and boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner, and you've already dropped And he loses the football the second time, but fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover for a squad. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to... Oh, and they get to the football. It's blocked. They'll put that block on top of the nice lead that they have, and now it's trouble here in the third quarter on the other sideline. Well, I think it's more than trouble. Very completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Flush to his right. That is caught at the seven. Touchdown. Now Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. Nifty move. He's in the space past the 25. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Fields going to get this one out on the perimeter. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. That's complete to Mooney. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now it's Fields. Escaping the pressure right. And he takes this one in for the Bears. To move here in the final quarter of play. Still fighting for more. 
missed, missed. He will not go down. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. Here's the Anchorage offense back out now. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Check, Bobcat! Check, Bobcat! Now back to throw. He completes it right side to White. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Forced out to his left. And it's caught. Touchdown! A five-yard touchdown. And the Orbits are going to be moving to 4-0 and as they extend their lead. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Shifts by at the 15. Still going. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. They go play action here on first down. Dancing to his left. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Now, now, back to and back. now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Three, three. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll set up a throw. That is caught. Who with a juke? Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He's got his man. It's White. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This taken in right around the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Now comes Anchorage to take over offensively. I'm just wondering, do they want to add on to this gigantic lead? My guess, given how they like to play and how explosive this offense is, Charles, that they're not content being up by this margin. They probably want more. And, if and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's to the 10. And they are going to score again. Yet another touch. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. And it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. There he goes, left side. He's on his way. And he will get into the end zone. In come on, come on. Check. Check, mash. Check, mash. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, fans usually love...